Hi, my name is Caitlin, and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to set up for continuous bladder irrigation, or CBI. The first thing we're going to go over is the different supplies that you need to get, all of which are across from uh, bed number three in the cabinets. You will need an irrigation bag, you will need a straight calf kit, three-way irrigation Foley catheter, your irrigation tubing, three um, 10 cc syringes, and a four liter Foley bag. And you'll also need an IV pole. So the first thing that you wanna do is you're just going to have to, you're gonna most likely need some help to do this. Um, so I recommend having somebody else here with you. We're gonna set up our sterile field. So first you're just gonna open your straight cap kit just like you would if you were putting in a normal Foley or straight cap with somebody. So while I'm putting on my sterile gloves, you can have your help go ahead and prime the bag. So you're just going to take out the irrigation tubing out of here. So you can go ahead and open that up. The kit has been opened. You want your help to go ahead and close down every clamp that is opened in the irrigation tubing. This one, there are three. Okay, so then you're going to want to take it out of the container and you're going to take off the cap and you're going to take off this, that white cap right there. There you go. Insert into the tube in the irrigation bag. Keep that closed. You kind of have to sometimes swivel it in a little bit. Now go ahead, you can hang the tubing up on the IV pole. Now we just want to prime. This one has a Y tubing, which means that you can also set up another bag um, if you would like to, so that way one is, when one is done, you can go ahead and just open up the second one. But for this purpose, we're just gonna have one bag set up. So hold on to that for a second. Open, you're gonna wanna open this up. Let the irrigation prime in there, squeeze that to Good. Squeeze it. Keep squeezing it until it comes out. Until it's about halfway full. Good. Now you're going to want to open this one up, and then once it hits to the end, once you see it get to the end, you can go ahead and close your clamp off, just like you're priming regular IV tubing. Good. So close that down, and you can leave that right onto there. The next thing that we're going to get set up is just have your sterile fuel ready and we're going to go ahead and insert the Foley. Um, so if you want to open up the Foley bag, have that ready for when I need it. So like that. The only thing that needs to stay sterile on the Foley bag is the end that is going to insert into the Foley catheter. For irrigation, you want to make sure that you grab a specific Foley bag. This one holds four liters, so that way it holds more urine and the irrigation um, for this specific purpose. Okay, so you can leave that there for right now. The next thing that I would like you to do is if you could open these three, making sure to keep them sterile and just insert them into my sterile field. Good. Now while he's doing that, I'm not going to go over exactly how to insert a Foley, just how you would normally do it for your hospital policy. Um, you're just going, you're going to clean the same way, lube the same way. Um, but this way you still have your sterile field and you still have a container in case you have urine that rushes out that you need to have um, the Foley catheter drain into if you don't get the bag all the time. Next thing that you're going to do is have um, someone open the Foley for you, maintaining to keep it sterile. So I will grab this. Good. So then now you have your Foley catheter in your sterile field. So again, you're just going to go ahead and insert your Foley the normal way that you would um, with your Betadine and your lubrication. Before you place the Foley in, you want to have your Foley bag connected. So you can have Dave help you. He's going to go ahead and pull off the cap of the Foley. So you can take the end of this, since you are sterile, insert it into your three-way Foley catheter. Then the next thing you want to hook up is the irrigation tubing. So Dave, if you could hand me that tip, just go ahead and pull it off. And this time, the whole long tube has to come off. So all the way to the white part there. Good. So you're going to go ahead and stick this in the top part of the Foley catheter. 
Okay. So now using your hospital policy, you're going to go ahead and clean the area just like you would, lube it up. Then you're just going to insert your Foley into your patient. Then you will use all three of these because the new, this three-way Foley catheter requires 30 cc's of, to blow up the balloon. So now your Foley catheter is all in. You want to make sure that you also have your urine going. And then if you do have trouble getting the Foley catheter and you want to make sure that you contact your doctor just to be sure that there isn't a clot lodging in. Okay, so now to start the irrigation process, you're just going to make sure you open up all of your clamps. So there's two clamps. You want to make sure this one stays closed, whether or not you have another bag attached to it or not. And then you want to make sure that you see the fluid draining into the patient. So you'll see this right here dripping in. And then you want to make sure that you have urine coming out of the patient. Now while documenting this, you want to make sure that you have very strict INOs and you want to make sure that what is going into the patient in the irrigation tubing is also coming out. And in order to find out exactly how much urine you're getting, you're going to subtract how much you put in from how much um, is coming out into the Foley catheter bag. And you want to just, you usually just do it according to doctor's orders and it usually is until um, clean urine comes out and it's not bloody. Thank you very much for your help, Dave, and that is how you perform a continuous bladder irrigation or CBI.